Hello Mech Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I'm excited today because we are building a new mech. We have gotten a lot of equipment in the last few sessions and I want to put them to good use. So we will start by going to an industrial hub and then we have to make a decision, which I'm not kind of clear on yet. But let's go to Tau City. Let's go down here, have a good time and uh, do some battlefield repairs here and just build a thing. The question is... No, first of all, I'm going to give you some context. I found some very, very, very good MRM 30s and I want to put them to good use. I want to see how medium range missiles work here in Mech Warrior 5. And I want to see if they are good or not. So I feel like we should build a mech around them, but I don't know which one because we have a lot of options here. Not in assembly, but in cold storage. First of all, we can take one of these Marauder, no, Warhammer 2C malls. We have one that is fresh that has nothing in it. And it has two missile hardpoints, perfect, uh, for our uh, idea. And it also has four energy hardpoints, which we could utilize to put some extra, like, medium lasers into the mech to, you know, pad our damage output a little bit and give it a bit of extra punch at close range. It also comes with uh, extra hero armor. It comes with... You know, I'm gonna show you here. Um, we have one already assembled. It comes with some quirks. It has missile spread, radius modifier 20%. That's really good for those MRMs. By the way, also, it has two missile slots, one in each side torso, which is amazing. Um, it has a machine gun damage modifier, which I don't care about. Projectile speed, 10%. Cooldown, 10%. Energy, heat, eh, it's okay. Uh, energy damage and then energy range. So, for the missiles, it's just the spread radios. But there is another option that we have. I'm going to quickly show you. The other option would be taking our Highlander Heavy Metal Hero mech out for a spin. Also has two missile hardpoints on the same side torso, though. So it's I would say it's a bit tricky to use. We're going to go uh, Clan XL Engine on that guy. Has three energy hardpoints and also some quirks, which I will show you in a second. Uh, I'm going to drop you real quick. Uh, heavy Metal come in. And it already has something like a build. It is... Uh, it's running an XL275. It's not the best. But yeah, the Highlander has obviously a lot of endurance. It is bigger than the Warhammer 2C, so it has more armor and structure, and this here on top of that, which is amazing. Uh, and then we have the Heavy Metal Quirks, gives us a lot of jump bonuses. We have Initial Thrust, Burst Time, Heat Generation, and then we have mm, Weapon Projectile Speed Modifier 10%, Weapon Cooldown 15, so we can fire often, Heat Generation 10%, and then Optimal Range and Maximum Range. And then we have some Reinforced Legs and you know, stuff like that. Not really that interesting here. So, do we want better spread or do we want more cooldown and just a bigger frame? I think both is viable. Um, probably costs us the same in terms of build. In terms of money and time. I mean, bigger is better, right? But smaller, it makes us easier to, to mix and match. But this has more armor and structure. Um, and since I think we will kind of play around... We will kind of play around, uh, what's his face, um, uh, DPS, right? And burst. I feel like this is going to attract a lot of fire. As a result, I want the extra armor. And honestly, let's check out these jumpies. Let's see how they work. If they work. We'll see. So first of all, we're going to take all of this out. We don't need it. LRM, SRM, out of here. All right, so we got that going for us. Now we're going to slap some... Actually, the Gauss rifle is also too much. Way too much. And I think the... Standard heat sinks, the regular inner sphere double heat sinks are going to be replaced as well. So we go down to M as in MRM. Also, let's go up here, and you can see we have two of them here. It means that we have to put jump jets on a single side and in the center. I don't like that at all. It kind of feels wrong. The mech should not be able to jump straight upward. It should always just tilt away when having too many jump jets on one side. But hey, it works. Now, we need an engine. Let's put a clan engine in here. Boom. Now we saved the slot, and that allows us to put the second MRM into the mech. Just like that. Perfect. Question, do we have MRM double bins here? We have a bunch of double bins, never mind. Alright, that's cool. Since this is our main weapon, I think I'm gonna go three double bins. So we will not run out of ammo. We will not have that problem. That in here. Alrighty. We also need a gyro, and I feel like it's mobility, because we kind of need to go close with these. They only have a range of 600 meters. Uh, 700 in high tier. Roundabout. Um, maybe it's good enough. Clan mask to get close anyway. Um, and then the 275 engine. I feel. I feel like that's what we need. 
And obviously these medium lasers will be replaced with something bigger. And I want to stay at my medium laser plan, I believe. Probably just gonna be tier 5 regular medium lasers. Unless we have extended range ones, which are in good condition. Now I want to align the range. This is 460 meters compared to 370. Also generates more heat, the extended range ones. 0 0.65 per second. 0 0.4 per second. Heat management is going to be an issue here. Put some laser insulators in the mech. I feel like this is still okay. Alright. So, um, radical double heat sink here seems good. Uh, and then I'll say... A bunch of clan doubles. 3.3 against 5. That's alright. I still want to make this mech faster. Now we are at 90. Okay, we have no structural upgrades. That can also be a thing. Put endo in here, so we have more weight to work with even. Yeah, this is coming together. Now we run 60 kph. Which is, is alright. Absolutely alright. Actually, I could have stayed with the regular inner sphere double heat sink in the center. You know what? As a matter of fact, I will. They have the same stats, but they are one slot bigger in the engine. It doesn't matter. So we might as well use them here. And then armor. I feel like we want to get some extra armor. And I was thinking about Feral Armella, which gives us even more armor modifier. 25% and 20% more structure even. So how does that impact here? Give me a sec. It needs slots, so... Wait, does it need a slot in every component? Not enough free slots. How many? Wait. Doesn't say. Does it need a center torso slot? Oh, it actually needs dynamic slots and a lot of them. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that's insane. Look at this. Get Feral Armella and stack it on extra armor quirks and you just are a bulwark. Oh my god. That is amazing. That's really cool, man. I love that. We did lose... What did we lose? We lost jump jets. Oh my word. And ammo, obviously. I think I cannot take it right now. This would be really good on an energy-based build, maybe? Where you don't need that much weight. The slot usage is a problem, though. Oh my god. But it's great. Look at this. Gets us 27 extra armor points and structure on top of that in the center torso that's amazing i want that how do i get it i could not use the medium lasers but then what mm, a ballistic i mean these three medium lasers do they matter maybe not you know maybe this is a different kind of build that we are building Hear me out. I cannot go though. Wait a sec. I need to get my ammo back and then we're gonna talk about that in a second. So now we have all the ammo that I wanted. I also want the jump jets. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many can we slap on a mech with a 320 rated engine? I think it should be four. Where are my jump where are jump jets even? I'm never using jump jets. Can I slap another one in here? I cannot equip more. Uh, wait, there should be... There should be an indicator how many you can put in a mech. And I think it scales with the engine size. But maybe we don't have the biggest engine necessary yet. Alright, let's see again. Can we do it now? Nope. Three jump jets only. And only three jump jets. But we made the mech a bit faster. Okay, so here's the thing. We have two MRM-30s that we can slap at our enemies. I don't think it's gonna be the highest damage per second in the world. But I feel like we should put some kind of melee stuff on this guy now. Ooh, wait, we have Harshal somewhere. Yep. Harshal on the arms. There we go. Ooh, it's falling apart. Heat-wise, I would say we are just fine. Put that in here. Ooh, wait, that allows us to possibly get something in here that is called Endoclan. 
Yeah, what now? Well, now we are filled up. We are completely filled up. We have some weight left over, and we have no melee weapons yet. Sold lower arm is sold hand. What can we put on this? Knuckles. Yo, we got the knuckles here. That amount of damage is not bad. Sure. Self-repairing arms. Hmm. Got Pharaoh Lamella for... And am I too obsessed with that? Am I too obsessed with the amount of uh, defense that we can get out of here? I might be. I, I think we are lacking offense. But I don't care. Let's go. Let's get the 340 engine in here. Uh-huh. 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 Max the armor. Boom. Okay. Everything maxed out. <laughs> it very much seems like it. So, we have a 64 kph running Highlander that can jump. So we can technically pop tart with our MRMs. We have enough ammo. We have, like, no sensors and stuff yet. What about... Wait a second. What about... Upper Harden for 5% damage reduction. Each of these weigh a ton. Hmm. 10% more melee. It's really good when we want to go in. Weapon mount is not necessary. I like Upper Hardened. And lower melee gives us even more modifiers, right? Would be a way to get stuff going. We have four tons over now. Means we had to go back to the 330 engine. Oh, that doesn't even help. Maybe this. 320 just barely works. We can drop a little bit of leg armor. We don't need much. Upper spike, lower melee, knuckles. It says 46 damage now. I mean... And these are fast, right? Two seconds cooldown. 19 meters range. Gotta check this out. Come on, this is a build about MRMs, and we also happen to have some Knuckles. Let's do it. Alright, so, quick sensor check. We're gonna take the... Not the battle computer missile. We will take a targeting computer. Ooh, I kinda wanted to get ECM as well. Uh, we gotta go... Small cockpit? I mean, evasion is good. Let's do evasion or an ECM. I think ECM is good here. So, cockpit small takes away my life support. But we have now an active slot that we can use. So give me that clan ECM. The damn. Alright. Again, we are a ton over, but it'll it'll change in a second. And then we're gonna go targeting computer missile, I guess. For less spread. More projectile speed. We don't care about weapon lock-on. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. I think it's the best thing that we can get. Or is it targeting computer heat in this case? I mean, we have a radical heat sink kit. We should be fine. It'll get some extra cooling out if needed. We are not utilizing the to maximum effect. That's for sure. But, uh... I like the spread radius. Let's get that in. And our sensors... are not existent. <laughs> give me that... Give me that sniper sensor, I guess. Why not? Boom. So, again, we shave a ton of leg armor and, and then we go. Nine. Five. Three, seven. So, this is the amount of, um, of armor that we have. Man, I really hope this guy is never gonna get hit in the face. <laughs> no, actually, I want this guy to get hit in the face. We'll see how this works. So, that's our mech. I'm not gonna upgrade anything on it, like these um, uh, work upgrades, these cantina upgrades. Not gonna happen right now. But hey, we have a new mech that we can test out, and I wanna see the strength of the missiles. Maybe it's good, maybe it's complete garbage. We will see. Also jump jets. Also a thing that we can drop in order to put more cooling and a bigger engine in the mech, because these assault jump jets are heavy. Alright, so where's my friend, the Highlander? Give me a second. Weapon groups. Um, it's very easy to pilot, I would say. Uh, actually, let's put the knuckles on the three and give it the chain fire group here. And whatever. Okay. Good. So, guys, we're gonna go to the star map. Actually, we should probably check out the equipment section here real quick. Because there might be something that we want to get. That is a heavy Gauss rifle.
Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a very interesting weapon system. It's 18 taunts, quite heavy, but it has 28 damage pinpoint, which is amazing. It's a very short ranged as well, which is not that good. I'm not sold on the heavy gauss, unless I wanted to go and, and get my Marta, my wannabe Marta online. This is four of them. I needed, I needed four to make them tier four. That would be a lot of investment for a single tier four heavy gauss rifle. But you know what? We got money right now. I'm gonna buy all of them and upgrade. Yeah. Light tag, wonderful. I'm not gonna take it. Large pulse clan. Um, no. Not right now. We don't need it. I feel like I should really seek uh, streak SRMs, by the way. Um, by the way, yeah, we need heavy gauss ammo as well. Double bin. There we go. Okay. A sensor. Targeting computers. Upper armor. <laughs> More armor. Yeah. Maybe we can drop Harshal then. I don't know. Alright. Mac market. Says no. I would say we're gonna seek some trouble with our new mech and it's gonna be... It's gonna be a duel against the clans. Hell yeah, let's go. Actually, with the whole time that we need to repair here, I could also have sent my, my pilots to a little bit of a recreation and improvements uh, uh, seminar. But I didn't. Can we still do it here? Got it, sir. We can train here. Alright. What do we want to train? What can we train? This is Blaze. Hey, Blaze. Yo, you get something here. I hope my battle ability counters here. You cannot upgrade anything anymore. I Interesting. My is satisfactory to your needs. But let's take up to three. I... Oh, this is a good one. Proceeding as ordered. This is Blaze. This is 117 days. Our Highlander takes a lot of time to get where it wants to be. So, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna wait. We're gonna train everybody. Get an upgrade here. Very nice. I got it. Uh, get a new one. These pilots are gonna get so good. That. This is Order acknowledged. I, I hope that we have enough money for all of this. Yes, sir. This is Countess. Uh huh. This is Dragon. Hey, Dragon. What about you? As this is spice. Spice. Spice is not spicy this is enough. This, I'm a this is Hawk. Uh huh. What about you, Hawk? What do you want to train? You want to go energy and heat management, evasiveness and shielding. I'll take all of these. I I'm on it. Beast here. Hi, Beast. Uh, I'm gonna give you another I'm one. On it. Okay, so everybody is training now. That means uh, we have to... We have to skip some time. So this is where the Highlander should come back. Online, we are perfect. We also elapsed some time, and this is... <clears throat> very specific. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm wasting a lot of time, because I just had a little chat with a, with a friend, and uh, he said that the real good stuff is coming in, what... 3160-ish, and we are at 3060. Means we have to advance a hundred years to get even crazier stuff that we have right now. And therefore, I'm not against just wasting some time here. Anyway, let's go ahead, play the duel, and have a good time with the new Highlander. I'm gonna get the salvage. Sure. It's not gonna be a lot because we're playing for Kurita. The nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there and have adverse effects on your sensors. Why are you still training? That's not okay. Do we have anybody here that can play? Yeah, we do. So, you wanna you wanna train missiles? I'm gonna give you a missile mech. Um, that is also a melee mech. Where is my Highlander? I don't see it. There it is. Great. The rest of the crew? Yeah, you're gonna take the Marauder too. Doesn't matter too much what we take here, as long as we have the Highlander on board. Still takes 175 days. Ah, and that's because... Oh, they are waiting for the... They're waiting for the training time. That is good to know. I thought I had to actually change that. Actively. Good. Another 100 day. It's another half year. Gone. Out of the window. That's okay. So, I have mask. I'm running 89 kph. That's pretty good. What? <laughs> Alright, we have jump jets. Alright, I like it. I like it. I cannot deny it. 
That is fun. So, we need to get to 700 meters roundabout. Let me try to get there. Also, my mask is not filling up that fast. Can have it online for quite a long time. And the knuckles are ready. There he is. 1200 meters. Jumping! I'm a pop tart! Hello! Oh, I'm stuck on the. Yeah, I'm stuck on terrain. So the mech always wants to jump forward. Even if I give, give it some backwards velocity, it always wants to jump forwards. I mean, heat wise, we are absolutely fine. Here comes the arrow, obviously. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna move and shoot. I like the whooshing sound of that. It is amazing. So we have a problem, I feel. The problem is our enemies are dying too fast. I'm gonna get out of here now. Hello. Holding down my mouse button to see how fast I can drop these missiles. Hello. Yeah, I'm brawling, buddy. I'm brawling. We have two blood asps and they are on me. I'm still taking way too much damage. Yeah, these guys are not dying fast enough. How good are MRMs? I don't know. As good as you might think. Got him. That was a nice butt punch. But I would say, everything considered, we are still in an okay shape. Although we took so much damage already. We need more MRMs. In order to make this build somewhat good. See? Okay. I like the usage of the weapon though. Look at the stream of missiles. And thanks to our... Thanks to our um, 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 spread reduction, it's actually quite focused. Actually quite nice. So you gotta consider two things here. First of all, it was a quite hot planet that we were on. We couldn't, with all the jumping and all the shooting, we couldn't always shoot at some point. At the same time, that's the second thing, we dropped against eight assault mechs at the same time. That was a lot of stress. I don't know if we get in a regular mission, if it was or would be so stressful, you know what I mean? If we had to defend ourselves and constantly shoot. Okay, do we take a blood asp? It has so many energy hard points. We could take another XL engine. Hmm. 12 energy. Man, that's a lot. That's... Ooh. You say I could take a Clan Gauss Tier 4? I will take it. And I will take another one. So now we have three. That is a Clan Ultra 5. I'm not able to take the Gauss and two of them. Wait, we only have one anyway. Ah, okay. Hmm. So I'll take this. That's a good one. Then we have eight picks. Only eight picks. Heavy medium or ER medium? If anything, then ER medium. Mm. Ah, mm, ah, so many good things. <laughs> Streak sixes. I said earlier, I wanted to check them out. I feel like they are not bad. This is six DPS. Or well, three ton weapon. It's pretty good, man. They have so many streaks. Do we just take streaks? Which mech would we run it in? Some skirmisher. Uh, I mean, this Clan Gauss is a no-brainer. I mean, do we need that Ultra 5? Maybe not. Extended range pulse laser. Large pulse laser. I don't care. No. Um, I could just take three streak sixes. And skip the Gauss rifle. I'll do it. Because it's a build that I haven't done yet. So, I really hope that we can find some more ammo, because right now we have none. <laughs> Absolutely none, but I feel like the stores might help us out with that. Hey, that was good. That was fun. And we have another one here. It's Garrison Duty, also 4 Curator. Yeah. It's a small map, though. You know what? It's better than nothing. It's, it's a mission that we can play right now. So, question. How long? 29? Doable. Totally doable. I want to get another... Another mission with the Highlander here, so that I get a feel for the mech. 
And that's why we play the next mission as our garrison, garrison duty. To take the things. And we hope for the best. Boom. 29 days. Again, I'm always happy to see that. Pilot recovered. Let's go. I don't like that, though. So we gotta constantly play missions in order to not run out of money. Whenever we want to advance the timeline, the upkeep cost is in, in our back. Saying, hey, I want money. Now, give it to me. Or I'll end your career. Ah, oh, man. Let's go. So Garrison Duty is a rather, you know, slower paced mission. And I don't think we're gonna find the best items here. In duels, usually they are stacked with things. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is breaking. But in these missions, usually not. We have been contracted Let's go. To relieve ally forces at Nav Point Alpha. That. Move in and establish a perimeter around the checkpoint. What is that green thing there? Random pirate dudes or I've never seen these icons. I wonder what it is. Who are these guys? Allied units. Um Okay. Nice. We got just some random dudes helping us out. I, I'll take it. I'll totally take that. So the arrow already flies. Zap. <laughs> Man, this is so spready. As I was saying all the time, pinpoint damage solves problems quicker than splash damage. Splash damage has usually the benefit of being colder, um, having more raw damage that you can throw out, but it's very undirected. Let me go fast. Try to intercept the Phoenix Hawk to C. It seems to be an assault map. That's interesting. Here it comes. Oh, I love it. Alright, okay, okay, okay. And down he goes. Yeah, we have the problem, the luxury problem, that our mech, our arrow mech, is so strong that it obliterates targets before we can intercept them. Absolutely crazy. Look at this guy. He's already dead. Okay. Man, I need to learn the velocity of these. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay. I mean, we can pepper the sky with missiles. What I love is that you can trace your enemies with the missiles. They will actually follow your aim in a stream. So it's not like when you when you aim at something, then all of the missiles will try to follow that that point, like the initial point. Okay, it's like a like a water hose, water hose of destruction. Okay. Looking good so far. How can we make this mech even faster? Like getting to the front line is our big problem. Dire wolf. Yes, let's go. I'm hitting my mask like a madman right now. Right, Dire. Let's get this guy. And I know that they are stuff right next to me. I want to take care of the mechs before I go for the loot. You cannot even kill a Jenner. All right, I'll do it now. Showing my back against an active battlefield situation, huh? Now we have friendlies here, and a lot of them. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like Christmas lights in the sky. Yeah, okay, he's out of range now. All right, back to the party zone. Yeah, let's do it. 1200 meters, 800? The combo of mask and jump jets is a beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Like that. Uh oh. Nah, I couldn't hit him. Mm, I'm gonna send in my, my friendos here. And I'll go and, and I'll take care of the rest of what's coming from here. It is another assault mag. Marauder 2C2X. That thing has a lot of lasers. A lot of them. And I like it. Hello, attack me. I'm here. I have the target. Looks like 
Looks like you've got the idle. I'm showing multiple Come on, guys. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So yeah, we have a bunch of tonnage in our mech that is currently completely useless. And that is our melee stuff. Did I intercept the missile? No. Now what I want to say is, I don't like having dead weight in the mech. And while we are not using our melee, we have dead weight. That's like the knuckles, the upper, the lower arm actuators. And that doesn't feel right. Okay, so we can make it feel right by moving in. But it's so hard, you know? Okay, you guys go there. Black Lantern. Nice. Is he gonna run into this? No. No, that was a preemptive shot in order to see if I can hit that guy. While he's running towards me, you know, getting into my optimal range because my missiles cease to exist. They will just explode at their maximum range. They will not drop like SRMs. Oh, Irby! Jump duel! Here we go! Fuck! I feel like I just got arrowed. But it doesn't matter. It's a fun build. I like the mobility. It needs to have more mobility. And I think we need to lose these... Oops. Uh, we need to lose these... Knuckles. They are not doing anything. Most of the time. And I'm building for most of the time. Just insane! That was a good shot. That dervish is getting shred. And the Jenner as well. Now he is a degenerate. Eight. Huh? Little guy, come over here. They're actually wrecking the base quite a lot. I want to try to attract fire. And two alpha strikes. Three alpha strikes. That Irby is eating. Like a boss. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it's missing. It's missing damage. Certainly missing damage. That means we will change the build. I am not against these MRMs, but I think we need a better mech for it. And honestly, I feel like... Man, I don't want to give up my survivability, but maybe we have to. Maybe we have to go more offense. I mean, another option would be getting getting these lasers online, actually, and maybe even extended range medium lasers, and dropping the extra armor plates, getting more heat management in the mech, and then be good. I don't know. So we are offered a Clan XL engine. This is an 80 tonner. Interesting. All right, I like that. Dervish, ultras. Yeah, medium. Yeah, I'll take some of them. I feel like they could be handy. Mando, sure, 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 sure. Machine gun times two clan. Machine gun array. Ah. A machine gun array, you say? It's a one ton item compared to the half, no, quarter ton item normally. I was thinking about my, my mall. That thing has a machine gun quirk. Machine gun arrays could be really nice, but we need more range. 162 meters is nothing at all. Okay, got some ammo. Got some low tier lasers. Fine. I'm not gonna take any weapon systems, I think. I wanna get... A mech go... A mech for 10 shares is not possible, really, right? Checking it out real quick. We got Battle Computer Artemis. Artemis 5, even. Alright. You know what? Uh, let's take a Nova as well. Why not? This seems good. Seems very good. Alright. So, we got some more items that we can use. Ah, my little Highlander. What are we doing with you, huh? Is the mall the better Highlander?
Are these MRMs doing the job that I want them to do? So many questions here. So many questions. What I can say is that these things don't matter. Upper, spike, lower, melee, assault knuckles. This is a lot of tonnage that is currently wasted. But I don't have any slots anymore unless I drop this. So what about it? Okay, I'll drop the knuckles as well. Now, um... Give me... Give me Harshal in the center and Harshal on this arm. Now we have these extended range medium laser tier... 4. I feel like they would work quite well here. Okay. I should probably do that in an, uh, in a, in an industrial hub, right? Okay, let's do it in an industrial hub. Let's go back to a Procyon. I'll take another one. Not the one that we have seen before, to see more items here. I just want to see if there's not, uh, another thing that we can take. Alrighty. So back to Battle Max. Quick repair. Nothing too crazy here. Would I take a ballistic with me? Also, do we need mask? Four tons, right? Yeah, it's four tons. It's quite a lot, man. We'll think about it. So, Assault Knuckles are gonna go, Jump Jets go here, Harshal goes here. I think Center Torso is nice for Harshal. It's only tier 2 Harshal, but it's fine. Got a bit of extra bonuses here. Now, back to the ER Medium Laser option. And I think I'm gonna take Mediums here, because... Go here for the build section. Uh, I'll take Medium Lasers, because they are just very cheap. They're very, very easy to handle, only one turn, one slot, and we can build around them. And they already bring us a, a good chunk of extra damage. But what I really want is more of these. <laughs> Having three of them would be nice. I don't know if four is possible. Probably on a very slow Annihilator or something. But, um, like it's a bit underwhelming. Anyway, laser insulators. We need them. Yes, thank you. Each management is very low. We have the radical. That's good. Right? This is where it ends. Dropping endo is not an option. Dropping engine would be an option. Or stopping here. Oh, the cooling is not good enough. And I don't feel it. Just don't feel it. What if I drop mask? If I drop mask and endo, then we would have enough slots to get the media. But I like my mask. No. I'm not gonna drop that. Is it's bigger engine? E40. There we go. We can now slap another heatsink in the center. Like this. And then we're gonna drop a little bit of extra <coughs> leg armor. Now it's getting a bit dicey, but we still have... Actually, we still have 78 leg armor. That's a lot. So this is our mech right now. Made it a bit better in the offense. A bit worse in defense. We have... No, wait. We just dropped the melee stuff. And yeah, I mean, yeah, the extra armor. But it's okay. So start the work. 2.7 millions. And again, I like exploring new builds with you guys. I'm wasting a lot of money here but for me it's an investment into my 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 fun in the game right now so checking out this real quick medium clan pulse laser no they know if these ultras would be better i would totally take them i would totally take that psm okay no upper spike weapon mount recoil nah no Asian support. No. Okay. So we are good. We are ready. We are done. Do we want to upgrade our pilots even more? I mean, counters is so much into energy builds. But you cannot increase anything here. What are you into? Energy and missile builds? Evasive? Cool. Yeah. Upgrade that, please. You're ballistic and missile. No. What are you even? We will see about you. This is Ronan. Fiend here. We'll see about you. Here. We'll see about... I like this. Oh, this Upgrading evasion to, to 5 is so good, man. Acknowledged. 
Okay. That going. That going. I'm just randomly giving some people some some extra skills. But now, now it's time to test our mech again. And I want to go for clan again. Hmm. That's a raid against the clanners, but it's Kurita again. No. Hell is here. Exploration. Ooh. Oh, against pirates, you say? That's funny. Let me try to find another nice clan mission. We play a duel against the Kuritans. La 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 la. Attack and defend. Not really what I want right now. But I guess we'll do it. Good. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a lengthier mission, usually. But it should be fine. Okay, so now we have laser beams. Battle max. Let me go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, not upgrades, but weapon groups is what I'm looking at. So, wait, our MRMs are on the left torso. So, this is it. This is the second one. Melee? Sure. Chain fire here, chain fire here. The other way around, I would say. Okay. Like that. We're good to go. Bam. Bam. Like the Federated Commonwealth, especially when we're playing against clans, because that means salvage. Okay, confirm that. And I think it's the same squad. It's a good one. Go 75 days. We need you here? Yeah, you want to really train the missile weapons. It's fine. Cool. So what do you think of the Highlander? I like that it has the amazing jump capacity. But that doesn't kill people. It also doesn't help too much. I don't know if jumping actually gives you an evasion bonus. Because usually in the tabletop it does. And I feel like it should give you an evasion bonus here as well. I mean, for me as a, as a regular player, uh, it is kind of harder to hit flying targets. It should be for the AI as well. Based on the number. So whenever you attack... Uh, when the AI attacks a moving target, they have a penalty to their hit chance. I think it should increase when the enemy is already uh, is also not moving but jumping. You know what I mean? God, expressing myself is hard today. We are cold here. Okay, let's go to base first. We're gonna order our Atlas to stay here. What are you firing at? Was a PPC being fired? Consider it done. So I'll say Atlas stay here. Now I'm gonna go south now. Let's see, it's very open terrain. I wish I had long range now. So let me think. Our medium lasers have a range of can a shot. Huh. Have a range of 506 meters. Artillery support is so insane. Uh, but we can shoot double that range and deal a little bit of damage still. So I should be able to hit Irby. Yes. Good. Let's go then. Nice to be able to engage with these guys already. Okay. Yeah, little guy. Pretty good. I like some hitscan weapons on top of the missiles. Be firing? Oh, I knew where you were coming from. Uh, what, what? What? Why? Why is there a guy? Can we take that guy away, please? It would be nice. Oops. That was a bit of friendly fire. All right. So we have some some very close spawns that we have to take care of right now. Alright. So the heat is fine. But that's also because, again, we are in a cold ish environment. We are not able to alpha strike and kill. Uh oh. Um, a scorpion with laser beams. Not from here, at the very least. Mm, okay. Good. So, Annie. Annie needs to go. Gauzilla. <laughs> You're so underwhelming. 
But we got him in the end. On towards the base now. Yeah, man, I, I think our Atlas is gonna keep everything clean. Our base should be protected. And that's the thing I cannot do anything about. Like the whole PPC situation up there. I am too short ranged. Which is also a big drawback. It's a move faster. This real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, it's a dire wolf. And I'm not quite protected here. Not well enough supported. Jumping. It's a whole different level of gameplay at this point. Back to cover! Come on, buddy! Okay, somebody else is taking point now, which is good for us. Also, did we destroy our cover here? <gasps> the glacier is gone! Oh my god. Climate change, buddies. Pattern. Patterns have armor. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda hard to kill. Okay. That's the thing that we are good at, actually. Being able to shred a lot of these things quickly. Because we have multiple projectiles. And each of them have a chance to destroy one of these structures. That's good. That's very fast. Uh-huh. I want that gone. Please. Take it down. For a very weird reason, he's not shooting at us. Chain fire! Alright. Almost done. 14%. And the heat is on. We also lost a lot of our armor already, which is not the greatest, to be honest. And then the tank drops down to nothingness. Okay, we're done. Let's go to base number two, which is all the way up there. These Phoenix Hawk 2Cs. Two Ultra Auto Cannon 10 clan and two machine guns. It's crazy. And they're trying to find the tank. Look at them. Bowing their heads in shame. Now yeah, the tank just dropped to through the through the world. Follow me, my friends, on towards glory and victory. Nothing in the proximity of our base, so that's good. Also, fine. There's a Highlander 2C, actually defending. So my AI pilots have also the doctrine of defending and attacking. It's really nice. Right. Patrol, where are you? What are you? Looking at the sky, but there's no flying support. So I assume light mechs and tanks. And can I please say that attacking this base is gonna be a pain in the butt because we have to cross a lot of open terrain. Oh no. There's the light mech. Stop moving! Well, one, two, there's a tank, nope, go, and I don't think that we have destroyed the Jenner yet, but it's fine, if he comes around again, we're gonna make short work with him, quick work with him, let's keep going, masking it up like a boss. I kind of value the jump jets, but they are so expensive. I don't think they are worth it. Now it's it's nice to have them, but that's all. I don't think they are necessary for the build itself. Mm, my ammo count is at 2,600. Uh, there's also an argument for dropping a bit of ammo. Maybe... All right, let's go. 900. What am I thinking? I need to really go to 700 meters. You know what? I'm gonna start destroying the base already. Prepare for impact. Ugh. And again. Managed to get back to cover. 
bad guy. And there seems to be an Orion somewhere. Oh, at the base. Nice. Oh, dire Wolf. Spreading it like a boss. And then trying to jump again for defensive purposes. Doesn't help so much. This build is too slow. Way too slow. It doesn't kill fast enough. And as a result, it is... It's not good. It is fun to play. It's something different entirely. But it is not good, I would say. Yeah. In comparison, you know, it does the job. But we have better builds already. Alright, let's go in here. Ah! <laughs> Getting hot like a boss. Yeah. That's a nice stream of missiles. I want to actually activate my radical heat sinks. I want to see what happens. There should be a little indicator on the lower right now. No, still not. But you are up here. What's going on there, buddy? Just peeping like a boss? Thank you. So now my radical heat sink kit is active. It has a fail chance that racks up. That's it, huh? We did it. We can go home now. Back to our families and friends. Make some nice, I don't know, rocklet. Okay, we did it. Oh, there's a pickup zone. Ah, cool. Now a thing that I quickly want to mention here. Can destroy these things and the other thing that i want to mention is the following if we just get enough velocity we should be able to jump over the chasm here no <laughs> so short <laughs> all right i guess i go the long way around it it was very close. We took some leg damage here because of the mask. I know. I wanted to push it because I have the feeling that if I push mask, I'm getting faster. I have more forward velocity even if I'm in, in mid-air. So check this out. Hitting mask now. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. We still maintained a good chunk of our armor. Our right arm doesn't look great, I know. The legs are kind of orangish. But that's because we have very little armor on them to begin with. Um, and, and I think it's okay. Oh, a light mech? I'm here. And I said earlier that I might want to drop some ammunition. I'm not too sure about that anymore. 840 missiles. He survived way too long. Way too long. Yeah, so, medium range missiles. We did an experiment. I did the science for you, so you don't have to take it. Um. Uh, I would say. It's alright. It's not a. I would say in the mid game, when you're still in inner sphere space and you don't have access to clan equipment, I would say MRMs could be nice. But I don't think that they're exceptionally awesome. So let's go ahead and pick some things. I want more of these extended range large pulse lasers. Oh wait, this is a lone wolf. I cannot pick it. No, it's a dire wolf hero. I want to have it. All right. So you can find hero mech parts in the in the wild. That's interesting. That's a lone wolf, guys. And I have not enough picks to get it. Alright. Uh, that's a shame. It is what it is. Let's pick these then. Do we want to... This is also a Skokomish. What? No, Skull. Skull. Skokomish is something different. What's it? Skull. Yeah, right. 
Uh, it's also uh, Orion 2C Hero Mech with uh, quirks and everything. Uh, I'm gonna say no to it, I think. Not really a mech that I am super excited about. The Lone Wolf, I, I would. I would take. And this is a freaking Scorch! What the hell? Are you kidding me? I mean, on the contrary, I, I would totally take a Scorch. I would totally do that. So we'll take that part. Uh-huh. More Streak 6s. I tier. How many can we slap on a single mech? So here, here's the deal, guys. We have... Three of these Streak 6s right now. Tier 4. I could pick a fourth. And we're gonna slap it on a Marauder 4 HP, which has eight missile hard points, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe nine. But eight at the very minimum. And we're gonna slap all the streaks on it, make it super fast, and then we just go in and scrap people. Let's do it. It's a long-term battle plan. We need to pick up more of these. But we will. So, what is our last pick? It's one. Streak ammo is so expensive still. It's four picks. Insane. I just take anything. Let's take an AMS, whatever, doesn't matter. Just a filler, so I don't care. Nice! So, guys, MRMs. Also, level ups. Beautiful. Are they good? Who knows? Let me know down below in the comments what you think. I find them quite mediocre, but again, they are they're just okay. They're just whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.